Here in New York tonight, there is already a state of emergency. Authorities are scrambling to keep more than 8 million people safe here. And look at this live picture tonight, just one of the many subway entrances in New York. This one in Times Square, where the subway will shut down in about 20 minutes from now throughout this storm, shut down for good. The last passengers getting on to get home right now. Right there, weekend anchor uh, Dan Harris out across the city all day today. Dan, right there in Times Square, looks pretty empty. It does. David, good evening to you from the crossroads of the world where they are right now essentially in the process of shutting this place down. Not only are all the Broadway theaters going dark, but as you mentioned, America's largest subway system is about to halt service. The sign over my shoulder pretty much tells the whole story. Two words, system shutdown. Tonight in the city that normally never sleeps, not only are they shutting down the subways and all the Broadway shows, but they're also taping up the windows at department stores canceling tomorrow's classes in all public schools, and ordering 375,000 people to evacuate low-lying areas. If you don't evacuate, you're just putting your own life in, you're not just putting your own life in danger. You are also endangering the lives of our first responders who may have to come in and rescue you. The mayor also warning people who live in high-rises to stay away from the windows, which could be blown out by flying debris. But the big risk to New York City is the storm surge. Water gushing in from the harbor over the city's flood walls, pouring into the subway tunnels and roads and underground power transformers, potentially causing billions in damage. If it hits at the maximum tide, then I'm afraid we are in pretty bad trouble. Last year, during Tropical Storm Irene, the waters came within less than a foot from topping the flood walls. And now, Sandy's storm surge is predicted to be even stronger. Since Irene failed to do the damage here in New York City that many experts predicted, some people, like the Orang family who live in the evacuation zone, are refusing to heed the warnings for Sandy. We have diapers, we have water. Um, I'm just, you know, hoping to make the best of it. There are long lines at the supermarket tonight. It really is a madhouse today. Yeah. It's like, oh my God. But the streets are crackling not with panic, but with a sort of upbeat, pre-apocalyptic vibe. Come on, I'm a New Yorker. Come on, what are you going to do? What are you going to panic? We're New Yorkers. <laughs> Hard not to enjoy her spirit. One last piece of news from here in New York City, David. The stock market, the New York Stock Exchange, just announced that it will be closed tomorrow. They're worried about keeping the power on all day long. David? Love the resilience of that New Yorker there. And of Dan Harris, who's been out there all day since Good Morning America. Dan, thank you.